Hey guys, it's June. What's up, it's Dan. And Mary, and welcome back to College Essentials. College Essentials is our back to school series that we're doing with McDonald's to get all of you guys a taste of what college life is like around the nation. Dan, Mary, and I are very passionate about the times we had in college, so we teamed up with McDonald's to bring you guys some advice about college life. We were recently on tour and got a chance to talk to faculty and students all around the nation to get some direct advice for all of you. So there's a lot of questions students and families may have. How do I get along with my roommate? What are the rooms like? Can I cook for myself? When do I go to sleep? I really love living in the residence halls and I try to make the most out of it. So one of the things that we did while we were on tour is got to check in with students and faculty about how to make the most out of your res hall life. Check it out. What's up everyone? I'm Mary and here's some more back to school tips. So today's topic is about residence halls. So for all my residence hall peoples, here's some key things to keep in mind before moving in. Tip number one, communicate with your roommate. It's key to communicate with your roommate at the beginning to make sure you guys respect each other's spaces and belongings. Make sure to talk to your roommate about cleaning, sleeping times, bringing guests over, and especially sharing food. What's some advice from like your standpoint on how to like maybe reassure parents that uh, to be okay with like setting their kids off. Well, you know, parents are especially scared of send, sending their kids far away. Mm -hmm. uh, but what I find is the farther students are away from home, the more quickly they mature. Mm. So they end up being, uh, the best students end up being the ones that actually go far away from home. Mm -hmm. So parents, don't worry if you send your kids far away, they'll actually do even better. In the dorm life, don't close your door. Leave it open so that people pass by. You meet random people like that. That's like an easy step for you to be able to reach out to um, other people and meet new people. You've been living in the dorms for the last couple of years, right? Yeah, last three years. Why, why should parents be okay with letting their kids live in the dorms? I feel that is an experience. Um, it is an experience to let your kid go out, live on his own. You have to learn to do your own laundry, make your bed. Well, you have to make your bed, but you know, <laughs> Whatever it is, keep your room clean, all that kind of stuff. You, you, gotta, you gotta learn some grown-up skills. Yeah, yeah. Hey, what's up guys? We're about to do a dorm tour. So I'm actually here with Tom and Tyler. And uh, they're actually dorm experts. I would definitely recommend that you uh, dorm on campus. It's a lot easier to get involved. Not saying that if you were a commuter you couldn't get involved, but it's a lot, lot easier. You don't have to keep driving back and forth. If there's a late meeting, you can just go to that meeting, go back to your room, sleep, do whatever you want. It's a good time. Let's go check it out. Every good dorm is secure. You need a key to swipe it. Ooh, it's oh. automatic. Freaky! All right, so guys, are we, we're going to a senior dorm then right now. Yes. An upperclassman dorm. Yep, yep. So being in an upperclassman dorm, what would you say the perks are you get a kitchen? Yep. You get your own room? Own room. You get your own bathroom? Well, five people, two bathrooms. Pretty good. Oh, two bathrooms. Yep. Pretty That's decent. Amazing. If you have a problem like your home sink or you're having a roommate disagreement, the RA is the person to go to. They're open to anything. They're actually trained to help you with your problems. You know, they, they're not just regular students like you, they do know what they're doing. So they're, they're great. Let's go check out his dorm. <clears throat> you get a huge little living area. I think there's some other colleges around the country that have a similar setup where you get the living area and then rooms sticking out. I love it, you get, you get a refrigerator. Yeah, refrigerator, dishwasher. So refrigerate stuff? Stove. So you can cook. Sink. Tip number two, organize. Make sure to organize your stuff the first week of school because there's a lot of stuff happening on campus and you might forget later. Plus, a cleaner room will keep you less stressed out and you already have a lot going on. So we're gonna get a peek inside Rafi's door. Hey, Ryan. Hey. Hey, come in, guys. So this is just one of the 24 halls here. So right now, you just Keep on following me right first over this area of our common room. So um, my residents have a chance to watch TV, um, play video games. You can see one of my residents right now. <laughs> so um, as an RA, I have my own room, so it's a single. Everyone else in the hall is doubles. Do you like living in a single room? Oh yeah, dude. I have been having roommates ever since I came to college. So having my own room has been really fun. You guys have a good kitchen. Yeah. That's super nice. Yeah. <laughs> Why is it so clean? I was expecting it to be dirty or something. Um, some of my residents end up just cooking if they want to 
make their own food. Some people that are veg vegetarian, you know, they make their own meals. It has everything here. How convenient. There you go, I can go use a dryer to wash it. And if you don't know how to do any of that, boom. <laughs> Laundry 101. <laughs> Tip number three, your RA loves you. Take advantage of your hall resources. Don't be afraid to hit up your RA to hang out or just ask them for advice. Your RAs are there for you as a resource and a friend. In fact, I still keep in touch with my RA from four years ago. Also, RAs host fun activities and programs which most of the time equals free food. So living in the dorms is really convenient because all your resources are here on campus. You can wake up, go to the library, go to the cafeteria, or go see an academic advisor. So I would really promote living on campus your first year. So I think it's really, really important for college students, especially during the first year, to live in the dorms because that's how you get to meet a lot of people. You can join clubs, yeah, that's great, but when you live with someone or you live on the same floor with someone, when you can just be like at 2 a.m., oh, hey, can I come hang out right now? And you can just go over. That's the best part of living in dorms, honestly. That was really cool getting to check out some of these dorms. Yeah, and it was really awesome being able to see different dorm life all around the nation. It's cool seeing just how unique like each of the residence halls are. Uh, I know that the ones in the south were different than the ones in the northeast, so it was really neat getting a chance to like look inside and talk to people. Thank you so much to McDonald's for making all this happen. If you guys want more information about scholarship opportunities and volunteering, make sure to check out rmhc.org. And make sure to stay tuned on mcdonaldsapa.com and ISCTV for upcoming videos. And don't forget to follow us all online. We'll see you guys next time. Hey, how are you? Hi, I'm Dan. I'm Loretta. Nice you. to meet you. Nice to meet you. This is our team. <laughs> Hi. So nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Would you guys like to get started on some volunteering? Yes. Yeah. Alright, so we're going to follow Loretta. She's, she knows the plan. Hey, what's up everyone? Today we have a very special treat. We are with the lovely... Hi, Elizabeth.